Hey! <coughs> I'm Anfa. Welcome to my Trap Drums mini series. In this video, I'm going to synthesize a kick bass or an 808, uh, if you will, from scratch. You'll learn how that sound works, so hopefully, you can put your own spin on it. By the end of this mini series, we'll end up with this. As you can see, there's a kick bass, a snare, and a hi hat. I'll show you how to synthesize all of that with just one plugin. I'm going to use the Zenfusion synthesizer, my open source weapon of choice for sound synthesis, and Ardor, my favorite open source DAW. Still, you should be able to more or less follow this series with any decently capable synthesizer plugin and a DAW. If you'd like to learn basics of Zenfusion, this mini series should also give you a head start. And lastly, you can download the MIDI files, Zenfusion presets, and the whole Ardor session to play around with on your own. The link is in the video description. Enough talking, let's get synthesizing. I've prepared myself a short MIDI loop. For now, it's just the init patch of Zenitsub FX or Zenfusion, which is just a sine wave. So let's open up the interface. Let's go to add synth, and here let's first pitch shift this two octaves down. That's more like it. Now, in the amplitude, I'm going to rise it to make the whole thing louder. Now, the amplitude should slowly decay, so let's use this envelope. I'm gonna move the sustain all the way down and extend the decay time. Maybe a bit shorter. That's about right. Now we need to add a pitch envelope to give it that kick character. So I'm going to use this pitch envelope. Now tuning the envelope is a very important step. So I'm going to spend some time on this. Let's go to the free mode where I can freely move all the points, add new points, and just tweak the envelope as I want it. I think that sounds nice. Okay, now I want to add a little bit more punch to the sound. So let's go to the second voice. Let's enable it. And it's just another sine wave. But let's turn it down. You see, I'm just in the voice tab, turning down just the voice, not the whole instrument. Now let's go to the modulation tab and change it from the oscillator or sound to white noise. Now I can go to voice, amplitude, envelope. Let's activate it and we can shorten the noise part itself. I'm gonna also reduce the re release time so we can easier see the whole function here in this window. And that's the base of our kick bass. Now let's go to effects. I want to add some distortion. Let's go to part insertion and insert a distortion. It's a bit too much. Let's lower the drive a bit. Also, I want to move up the Lopez filter so it is opened. It doesn't cut off any high frequencies. I'm also going to lower the amount a bit so it's parallel. This is basically the dry wet control. We could, for example, give it more distortion, but mix it back with less amount. I like that. 
And here's our 808 like kick bass sound. In the next video, I'll show you how to synthesize this sweet snare. See ya!